Hello my dear students welcome you all today in this video I will discuss about building blocks for different products formulation of cosmetics or cosmeceuticals so uh, in this video I will cover skin creams there are various types of skin creams in this video we will cover moisturizing cream vanishing cream cold cream the definition types formulation formula manufacturing as well as their evaluations so let us now discuss in detail about this topic let's go so first of all uh, we would discuss what are skin creams creams are basically a type of emulsion and what emulsions are emulsions are biphasic liquid doses forms which contains two immiscible liquids which are made miscible with the help of emulsifying agent when we add an emulsifying agent then it stabilizes the unstable emulsion or immiscible liquids so the main ingredient in emulsions are emulsifying agents basically creams are semi solid emulsions of oil and water they are divided into two types whether oil and water type creams or oil and water type creams oil and water and water in oil so oil and water creams which are composed of small droplets of oil dispersed in continuous water phase and water in oil creams which are composed of small droplets of water dispersed in a continuous oily phase oil and water creams are more comfortable and cosmetically acceptable as they are less greasy and more easily washed off using water so here is an example of oil in water cream is vanishing cream water in oil type creams are more difficult to handle but many drugs which are incorporated into creams are hydrophobic and will be re released more readily from a water in oil cream than an oil in water cream water in oil creams are also more moisturizing as they provide an oily barrier which reduces water loss from the stratum corneum the outermost layer of the skin let us now discuss about types of skin creams it is categorized into various different categories makeup creams the example of makeup creams are vanishing cream and foundation cream cleansing cream creams for winter we all know cold cream creams for day skin sorry creams for dry skin is moisturizing cream all purpose cream night creams skin protective and hand creams so there are such type of creams available in the market so what ingredients are used in skin creams most of the creams have these ingredients in their formulation first of all water oil fats and waxes like mineral oil for example liquid paraffin heavy liquid paraffin and light liquid paraffin glycerol or we can say glycerol oil or glycerin glycerol oil includes almond oil arrakis oil castor oil fats lauric or laureate palmitic acid lauric acid stearic acid sesame oil olive oil cocoa butter and peanut oil these all are in the category of fats and waxes like carnauba wax and wees wax these all ingredients are used in different kind of formulation of skin creams lanolin another ingredient is lanolin 
it is derived from wool fat glycols are also used like ethylene glycol diethylene glycol and propylene glycol various types of colors are used in the cosmetic formulations like skin creams most of the skin creams are uh, off white or pearl white in nature that's why <laughs> uh no uh, or we can say no intense colors are used in creams uh, colors the example of various colors are saffron chlorophyll colchenil or cochineal emollients is another example or ingredient used in the formulation of cosmetics emollient is also known as moisturizer the example of emollients are mineral oil, squalene, lanolin, and the most importantly, most importantly, emulsifying agents. It is the backbone of an emulsion because it stabilizes the whole system of emulsions. So various emulsifying agents are used, like inorganic solids, for example, bentonite, kaolin, gums, and proteins. Example gum arabic, gum tragacanth, gelatin, egg albumin. Weighting agents is another ingredient. Type of surface active agents which reduces the surface tension or lower the surface tension. Example are soaps, sulfonated oils, fatty alcohol, sulfates, sulfated fatty esters and amides. Humectants. Humectants like proteins, acids and polysaccharides. Perfumes a uh, main ingredient in the cosmetic formulations uh, like white blossoms, rosy dreams, orange blossoms and some functional raw materials like vitamins, amino acids and anti-inflammatory agents may also be incorporated in the creams. Let us now discuss about the manufacturing of creams. First, we take oily phase and water phase. Oil phase and water phase are mixed together and heat up to 70 degrees centigrade along with emulsifying agent or surfactant. Then we will stir and mix them thoroughly. In the next step, we add other surfactants, chelating agents, perfumes and coloring agents. All these ingredients are added in this step. Again, we stir and mix them continuously. Then we, we will do de aeration so we can remove the entrapped air bubbles from the formulation and finally we cool the uh, mixture and we will get the finely prepared formulation or creams. Let us now discuss about moisturizing cream. When water is lost from the stratum corneum more rapidly, then it is received from lower layers of skin and the skin becomes dehydrated. The dehydrated skin loses its flexibility and appears rough. Creams which restore water or moisture and plasticizes the stratum corneum provides its flexibility and makes it soft. These types of cream are known as moisturizing cream. So here is a general formula to formulate or to manufacture this type of cream. So here is a list of main ingredients which are used in this formulation like stearic acid, mineral oil, lanolin, glycerol monoesterate, isopropyl myristate, glycerin, propylene glycol, triethinolamine, water, perfumes and preservatives. Vanishing cream, another type of skin cream. Vanishing cream, what are they? Actually, its name indicates the vanish off means the wash off with simply water that's why it is called as vanishing cream they are easily vanished out when we washed with water 
they are non sticky non greasy that's why creams which spread easily and seems to disappear rapidly when rubbed on the skin are termed as vanishing creams these creams are composed of emollient esters which leave little apparent film on the skin traditional formula of vanishing cream are based on stearic acid stearic acid melts at a body temperature and crystallizes in a form so as to be invisible providing a non greasy film it also imparts attractive appearance to the cream so it is a formula which is used to make this type of cream the main ingredients are stearic acid potassium hydroxide glycerin water perfumes and preservatives procedure for preparation of vanishing cream first of all uh, we will melt stearic acid in a china dish on a water bath in a beaker dissolve potassium hydroxide in water and glycerin to it heat the aqueous solution up to 70 degree centigrade on water bath when both aqueous and oily phase reach the same temperature approx 70 degree centigrade add aqueous phase to the melted stearic acid with constant stirring remove the china dish from heat and continue to stirring when the temperature reaches 40 degree centigrade add perfume and mix uniformly until it becomes cool and a homogeneous cream is obtained let us now discuss about cold cream inventors we generally used cold cream cold cream is a water in oil type emulsion which when applied to the skin <laughs> a cooling effect is produced due to slow evaporation of water present in the emulsion actually it is used as a moisture protective we can say cold cream is an emulsion of fats and water which can be used to clean and soften the skin cold cream has been used to remove makeup gently at the end of day and it can also be used to soften tough skin on the knees and and or to keep skin protective or protected from harsh winter weather cold cream is prepared by saponification reaction between beeswax and alkali borax here is a formula to prepare or to formulate cold cream the main ingredients are white beeswax liquid paraffin borax and rose oil water procedure for preparation of cold cream weigh the required quantity of white beeswax and liquid paraffin and melt in a china dish by heating on a water bath up to 70 degree centigrade in a glass beaker dissolve borax in water and heat up to 70 degree centigrade when both oily and aqueous phases reach the same temperature up to 70 degree centigrade gradually add borax solution to the melted beeswax drop by drop with continuous stirring stir continuously until it becomes cool when the temperature lowers to 40 to 45 degree centigrade incorporate rose oil and mix uniformly until a homogeneous semi solid mass is obtained let us now discuss about evaluation of various types of creams or we can say all types of creams first of all we evaluate the presence of foreign particles or grittiness how it can be evaluated we in a small amount we take cream and spread on a glass slide free from grease and was observed against diffused light to check for the presence of foreign particles ph of the cream 
to determine the pH of the cream first of all 1 gram of cream was weighed and dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water and stored for 2 hours pH of different formulations are determined by using digital pH meter to determine its viscosity Viscosity of the formulation is determined by Brookfield viscometer using Splindel number as 64 at 20 rpm. rpm means the revolutions per minute at a temperature of 25 degree centigrade and determinations are carried out in triplicate and the average of 3 recordings are recorded. Another evaluation parameter is spreadability. For determining the spreadability, two sets of glass slides of standard dimensions are taken. The cream formulation are placed over one of the slide. The other slide was placed on the top of the formulation such that the cream between two slides were pressed uniformly to form a thin layer. The spreadability was expressed in terms of time taken by two slides to slip off from the cream. Lesser the time taken for separation of two slides, better the spreadability. Another evaluation is irritancy test. Make an area approximately 1 square centimeter on the left hand dorsal surface. The cream was applied to the specified area and time was noted. Irritancy, erythema, edema was checked if any for regular intervals up to 24 hours and reported. Next evaluation test is patch test. About 1 to 3 gram of cosmetic to be tested are applied on to the sensitive part of the skin. Control patches are also applied. The site of patch is inspected after 24 hours. Next evaluation parameter is stability study. How it can be determined or determined? For stability study, we are first, we first determine globule size. 1 ml of cream are diluted 1 ml of cream is diluted to 100 sorry 10 ml with glycerin a few drops of this is transferred onto a glass slide and is focused in a microscope by using eyepiece micrometer the diameters of 200 particles are determined randomly phase separation the formulated cream is kept intact in a closed container at 25 to 30 degree centigrade not exposed to light phase separation is observed carefully every 24 hours for 30 days any change in phase separation is recorded the next evaluation is partition coefficient of the cream 50 milligram of cream was taken in a separating funnel containing 1 is to 1 ratio of buffer 7.4 pH and N hexane in N hexane. Then solution was shaken occasionally and both phases are separated and filtered and the amount solubilized in each phase was determined by measuring the absorbance using UV spectro photometer. Another evaluation is extrudability. The formulations are filled in a standard collapsible capped tube and sealed. The tube is weighed and recorded. The tube is placed between two glass slides and was clamped. A 500 gram weight was placed over the slide and cap was opened. The amount of cream were collected and weighed. The amount of cream extruded is calculated and grades are allotted. Thermal stability is another evaluation of skin creams. In this, the formulated cream is inserted 
into glass bottle with the help of a spatula and tabbed to bottom and is settled to the bottom filled up to two third capacity of bottle and insert plug and tighten the cap filled bottle is kept erect inside the incubator at 45 plus minus 1 degree centigrade for 48 hours the sample will pass the test if on removal from the incubator shows no oil separation or any other phase separation so it was all about the skin creams or various various types of skin creams so i hope you like this video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the latest educational videos thank you for watching this video